So we have uh, pretty simple movements you can use. It's the, the targeting is controlled uh, just by moving the uh, controller back and forth. And then, of course, you can use the nav controller plugged in here. So the actual move controller plugs into the gun where you have functionality with the, the buttons that are on both sides. And then, of course, the nav controller just rests in this uh, section here. And the gun is actually modeled after one of the Hellgast weapons in the games. You also have um, some of the basic functions of uh, move functionality going. So you can use same functions to reload, so you can do a quick lean over to reload, you've got your melee, or you can drive forward. Also for setting the charges, you can use the control. So much like you were able to use the move on its own, now we have it all tied together in this one, uh, in this one package. You can see once you're in the iron sights as well, it's a fairly precise weapon. You can, uh, you can really get and pick off enemies, and it's pretty easy to pick up and get going with. So, um, you know, once you get used to the controls, it's pretty smooth. This is actually uh, the most recent version of the Frozen Shores level that we've shown a couple of times already, but uh, now it's a bit more complete, and uh, we've got a lot more of the uh, the graphical elements in place. So. Uh, we're pretty pleased with the overall look and, and design of things here. Got some guys with rocket launchers up ahead coming up, so got to avoid the fire. And right now you've got a little bit of auto target locking set, so you can, uh, you can tweak some of those settings as you go through the game as well, but often helps with uh, first time you get acquainted with the, the move. This is going to be available this coming February, so timed with uh, the Killzone launch February 22nd.